Mrs. Anwar Prasad, uh, my next question to you is, you are part of um, an institution which is massively supporting entrepreneurship and has been doing it for some time now. How do you see bringing um, entrepreneurship education at a school level will have some implication in your institution and how can you push this further? Thanks for your question. Namaskar and good morning everyone. Uh, SIDBI is the pioneering apex institution in terms of entrepreneurship in India. We have been uh, given this responsibility to help entrepreneurs, MSMEs and conventional businesses. So when we talk about entrepreneurship education, uh, one thing which I would like to highlight is that we live in a country which is probably uh, five times the population of the US if we compare with the most developed economy in the world and maybe one tenth the resources. So this country has many problems, you know, hundreds of thousands of variety of problems. And we very strongly believe that not all these problems are going to be solved in a conventional method, through a conventional method, through conventional businesses. So here's why we require entrepreneurs like you and the kids who are the blooming entrepreneurs over here. And uh, in terms of entrepreneurship, education, one thing which I would again like to underline is, and that is kudos to people like Shivesh and Shivani and things that up team who are doing this. Is that of course, idea is something which is difficult to be taught. I mean, idea is something which is, you know, it's, it's a moment of truth. Or you, you, uh, a quick idea, aaj aata hai, one fine morning. However, entrepreneurship education is all about, you know, learning how to execute that idea and take it to scale, which is very important because there is a huge, huge misconception, and this is also nurtured by several platforms that have glamorized uh, entrepreneurship and entrepreneurship education. That idea is 100% of your startup. It is not. It is a small part and the rest is taken care of by the education, by the execution and which has to be nurtured, honed and polished through efforts like Think Startup and other entrepreneurship education. Now come to the question that how SID is going to associate with these uh, entrepreneurship, uh, entrepreneurs, budding entrepreneurs. So um, we are a market maker. We believe in nurturing entrepreneurship in situ. And of course, we, uh, other than our financial activities, we have a, a 2.5 lakh crore balance sheet. However, um, we have a lot of promotional activities, promotional initiatives, which we put in four buckets. And enterprise station, enterprise uh, handholding is one of those buckets. And we also look at them as our future customers, of course. So we are invested in funds of funds. We work with a lot of startups. We work with a lot of MSMEs. And also, we work with those who are solving problems for certain sectors. For example, fintechs, which are solving problems at scale. Because these, in, in today's time, uh, we cannot uh, expect our conventional methods to solve the financial inclusion, uh, you know, uh, conundrum, for example. So uh, it is also, so I would say three prompt. One is that we are a market maker and we have to nurture entrepreneurship in the country for solving its problems. The other one is hardcore business strategy because we want and we need entrepreneurs, good entrepreneurs in whom we can invest later. And the third thing that I mentioned is that as you know, problem solver for corporates, for uh, banks, for different sectors. So that's also a very important role that startups and entrepreneurs have to play. Thank you.